Now LBJ said, let us make a voter in our image that he may glorify us and elect us forever. And he had it made. Then LBJ said, it is not meet that man should vote alone. So he caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man while his eyes grew heavy with the late show. And he took one of the ribs from his TV dinner and from it he fashioned a woman and he called their names Adam and Eve. And they were both registered Democrats and they were not ashamed. And he gave unto them a house in a tract which he called Eden Estates. And LBJ said unto Adam and Eve, of every fruit of the great society, save one ye may eat. But of the fruit of descent, ye shall not eat. For on that day ye shall surely doubt. Wherefore ye may not tune the tube under the forbidden channel of Fulbright, nor seek to understand the accursed code of Morse. Wherefore did they gather them before the tube? For truly that was the light of the world. And Adam rested beside his six-pack, and beheld the eternal cowherds beset by the feathered tribes of Geronimo. But unto Eve this was an abomination and a drag. Now did Adam drift off to the land of Nod, and there entered into Eden Estates an intellectual who was more subtle than any serpent. And he said unto the woman, Thou mayest indeed tune unto the forbidden channel, and see it like it is, baby. And lo, she beheld a flash of light, and great speckled birds from the sky, hurling bolts of flame upon the hamlets of the followers of the bearded prophet, Ho. And there was a great battle, and its name was Tet, and it was offensive. Now when Eve beheld this, she was sore afraid and cried out, so that Adam awakened, and he said, What manner of channel beholdest thou? This scene is forbidden, and for this disobedience, LBJ shall surely smite thee. But in her pride, Eve answered, Stupid, thy brain hath been washed. Remove the veil from thine eyes. Wherefore did Adam look, and the scene changed to the chambers of the senators, and it was Fulbright who did speak like unto a dove. This war profiteth ye not, nor doth it succor our sons. Therefore escalate not, lest ye be escalated. Whereupon did the heavens thunder, and there was a flash of lightning and a mighty blast of the Texas Longhorn, and lo, the Omnipotent One appeared, surrounded by his host of cherubim, and foremost among these was the angel Rusk, who said, Ye shall honor your commitments before the Seato of the mighty all the rest of your days. And unto Adam and Eve spake LBJ, Who first seduced ye unto this foul revolt? Whereupon did Eve cry out, The intellectual, it was he who turned me on. Then did LBJ say unto the intellectual, Because thou hast done this thing, thou art accursed, and thy head shall be of egg. And unto Adam and Eve he said, Because ye have been disobedient, and hearkened unto the dissenter, a surtax shall be laid upon ye. Inflation shall be visited upon your heads, and your stocks and bonds shall be brought low. Therefore did LBJ banish them east of Eden Estates, and they wandered in desolation until they came to a place called Credibility Gap.